<laughs> Hello to the lovely lady watching and listening. I am James Swanick. So great to have you here. And if you've ever complained about only attracting boys and not attracting men, well, you won't have to complain much longer because our dating and relationship expert today is a wonderful woman by the name of Bobby Palmer. And Bobby is going to teach you how to attract a man, not a boy. You think you're a man, but you're only a boy. You think you're a man, but you're only a toy. I think that's how it goes. That was the song. Bobby Parler, how are you? Great to have I'm, you. I'm great, James. <laughs> Thanks for having me. You can keep singing if you'd like. <laughs> <laughs> so you are a dating and relationship coach for women over 40. And that's right. And you're happily married. In fact, you told me the wonderful story about how you married your husband. Will you share it with, with the women listening and watching right now? Do you mean how fast I married him? I think that was the story I shared, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, we met online. Um, I was 47, never been married. Uh, he was 56, been married twice. Um, and we um, got married within six months of meeting. Um, we got engaged within six weeks. It was just, um, you know, that's a great thing when you're older. Um, you just have so much more clarity about what you want, what you don't want, kind of who you are. And the great thing about, you know, I think for most of us, when we get older is like, we're just okay with who we are. And when you meet somebody who is also really comfortable in their own skin and really open and just like, this is me, um, when it's a match, you just know it pretty quickly. So we got married within six months. We're just about to celebrate our eight year anniversary. Wow, amazing. Congratulations. That's, uh, that's such a great story. Uh, make sure you follow Bobby uh, on Twitter at, at Bobby Powell. That's B-O-B-B-I-P-A-L. In fact, if you're listening right now, send a tweet to Bobby at, at Bobby Powell. You can include me there as well, at James Swanick, J-A-M-E-S-S-W-A-N-W-I-C-K, and just say, hey, enjoying listening to you. Hey. That would be great. Right. So. So, Bobby, you would have uh, attracted your fair amount of boys in the first, uh, say, 30 years of your dating life, uh, assuming, right. of course, that maybe you, you started dating at, let's just say, age 17. You were married at 47, so let's just say 30 years. Yep. So, so you must have attracted a fair amount of boys. Was there a reason why you were attracting boys and not men? I only attracted boys, actually. Um, yeah, there was, and I... And I, I Kind of break it down into um, three sort of top reasons that we that we women do attract these kind of these boys. And just if I can clarify, like what I think of the boys yeah. that we like so much, mm -hmm. you know, the ones that are really cute and that we have chemistry with, and and um, these are the these are the non-committal, um, self-centered. Um, non like like irresponsible um and not always bad guys they're not necessarily bad guys a lot of times it's just the stage of life they're in yeah you know? i mean to think about like asking a 25 year old or even 30 year old sometimes man like why aren't you like what's happening with our relationship why aren't we settling down just maybe the stage of life but um but yeah, I mean, these boys that we attracted who just wanted to hop in, you know, like get in our pants and said anything they could to make us, you know, get into bed with them um, or make us like them. And then when they just felt like it just kind of, you know, split, just kind of left. Those are the boys that I'm talking about. You know, the ones that you just can't depend on emotionally um, and just rationally just in everyday life. Yeah, some of them are bad guys, but some of them are actually good guys, but yeah. they're just in a different phase of their life, right? And it's not really their fault that they're boys. It's no. just they're boys being boys. Yep, absolutely. And yeah, exactly. And, and I think that's important. And that's one thing with, um, in dating like Date Like a Grown Up that's really important that I share with women is kindness to yourself is most important. And I'm actually going to talk about that as one of, one of my main points. But kindness to men is equally important. I mean, we, you can't look at them as, oh, they're just jerks, they're just creeps, you know, they, you know, just want sex. They are people, men are people too, 
Oh, well, thank you. That's good. I'm glad that I'm being referred to as, as yeah. worthy of being in the people bracket. <laughs> you know, we get bitter. <laughs> we get angry. We get frustrated. We get bitter with the opposite sex. It kind of goes both ways. And then you start clumping them all together. So, yeah, most of these guys are probably pretty nice guys. They just weren't ready for what we wanted. You know? Okay. Okay. Sex. So, so we're speaking to Bobby Palmer. She has a website called Date Like a Grown Up. Date like a grown up dot com. Bobby was actually on the Today Show on NBC a couple of weeks ago. She knows her stuff. Uh, she's been doing this a while. Yep. So, Bobby, let's let's really break this down. There are three steps here on how to attract a man, and I'm assuming a man is the opposite of what you just described, where it's a boy. That's someone who is committed, yep. who is uh, responsible, who's a good guy, who you can depend on. So, how do you attract that guy, and not the other guy? Yeah. And the guy is, uh, what I say is he's the guy that shows up, steps up and is grown up. Ah, I like it. So, and he also happens to be hot and interesting. Um, <laughs> so the first thing that, um, which, which sort of seems counterintuitive to so many women, the first and most important thing, if you want to attract a grown up man is you must love and respect yourself and you must be able to show that to him. Because these grown-up guys, again, they're not these kind of like self-centered, let's just get laid kind of guys. These are grown-up men who want to share a nice life with a woman who's happy and sat, has created a good life for herself. So they want to enhance our life, but they don't want to be our life. Yes. They don't want to be responsible for our happiness. So showing that you love yourself and that you've created a happy life for yourself is really important if you want to attract a man who also loves himself and has created a good life for himself. Yeah, so step number one there on how to attract a man and not a boy is love and respect yourself. And yes. then you, also, you have to show it to him. That's right. I, I talk about this all the time, the importance. Women are always asking me in the millionaire magnet system, Bobby. They're always saying, like, how do I attract a man? Like, why are all these guys average? Like, why am I only attracting average guys? And, well, a lot of the time it's because the women – are actually leading what they perceive to be average lives. Now, they're not average because everyone's got interests and hobbies and passions, but they're not just showing that yeah. to the guy. Yeah. You know, I, I went out with a, with a woman recently and she wasn't the most attractive looking woman that I had been out with, but she just loved everything about her life. She played yeah. golf. She, um, she loved to play golf. She kite surfed. Uh, she had a brother who was an alcoholic and so now she helps uh, reformed alcoholics. So she's very charitable. She's caring. She's generous and she's smiling. She's laughing. She was talking about Game of Thrones on HBO and was like, I love my Game of Thrones. And she, <laughs> she's so passionate about it. And I'm just yeah. there mesmerized by this woman going, This woman's amazing. This woman's incredible. This is the kind of woman I want to take care of and look after. So that, I yeah. mean, you, me, all the other dating and relationship coaches, we can talk about dating and relationships and love till the cows come home. But at the end of the day, if you want to attract a top quality man, then be a top quality woman. And a top quality woman is a woman who loves her life, who's positive, and who is confident. That's right. And what a lot of what you just said is so interesting because here's the way that so many women, especially women who are older, um, here's how they show that they love their life. They show up like with this overconfidence. And the confidence shows up in how they talk about their business and how they talk about their travels and, you know, their accomplishments. And that's all well and good. But what you talked about, talk about your passion. Yeah. Talk about what you love to do. Mm -hmm. Talk about the people in your life that like really like set you on fire. That's what these guys are looking for. They want to know that happiness about you. Not that you have this really awesome career and you make a lot of money and you could take care of yourself and, and that actually leads me to the next piece of this showing that you love and respect yourself mm -hmm. is setting like really clear boundaries is an important part of showing to these, to, to these grown up guys that you respect yourself. So is this step two and how to attract a man, not a boy setting really clear, but as part of number one, we're going to call it one, a one, a all right. One, a. Oh, one a. So one, a is, well, I'm going to call it one, a not to correct you, but I'm gonna call it one, a is that, Men want this and you have to know how to express it. Yeah. Okay. Right. So that part of like expressing this doesn't mean show them how busy you are and show them what a great career you have and all that crap. It means show them what you're passionate about, show them what you love to do and, and the real part of your life 
that you've created that makes you happy. So 1B is um, being able to set reasonable boundaries. Mm -hmm. And that shows that you respect yourself. And the good guys, the grown-up good guys, will absolutely respect that you take care of yourself that way. Yeah, absolutely. So love and respect yourself and know how to express it. So again, like Bobby's saying, don't show the guy how busy you are. Oh, I'm so, so overwhelmed with work. It's crazy. Oh, yeah, it's a disaster. I don't want to hear that. I'm not interested. I'm not interested. I'm interested in what you're passionate about. And you, might, you may have read a book, and I might think it's a book like Lord of the Rings. Just say you read the Lord of the Rings book. I got no interest in that whatsoever. I find that, that kind of stuff incredibly dull and boring. That's just me. But if you come to me and you say, oh, I love Lord of the Rings and I was crazy about it and I saw this and it was amazing and I read the book and I remember I was just sitting on the train and I was reading the book every day for three months as I went into work. I'm like, this is really interesting. This is really yes. exciting. Exactly. Yeah. So, exactly. so great tip there. All right, let's move along then. What's the next tip on how to attract a man and not a boy? Next tip is embrace your femininity. Yes. So, so important. Yeah. So grown up men want grown up women. And if you're looking for a guy who is the type of man that is confident and accomplished and a take charge kind of guy, he probably is that in his whole life, right? He's always that. So the only place that this man finds rest and peace, the only place he may find like loving kindness and acceptance is with his woman. Mm -hmm. So you, if you want a man like that, you need to show up as the woman who can be open and receive what he needs, you know, what he needs to be. So that means that you don't interrogate him on your date. You don't test him. You don't make him jump through hoops. None of that stuff is going to attract a good guy or a grown-up guy. It's just going to exhaust him. And that's not what he's looking for. Be the woman, be the kind, nurturing, open, authentic woman that you are in the rest of your life with men. And you're going to see total difference in how they relate to you. It's a huge thing. I mean, I'm a man. You can say I'm a man. I'm sound like a man. I'm a man. You're a man. Okay. That's not in doubt. That's not in question. Nope. I don't want to date another man. Exactly. I don't want to date another woman who acts like a man. Exactly. Not, not interested. Yeah. Yeah. I want to date a woman who looks like a woman, who acts like a woman, who is a woman. That's what I want to date. That's who yeah. I'm interested in. So, and, and, that in and that means embracing your femininity. It's yeah. loving kindness. Yeah. It's being open and receiving. I mean, what is the exact opposite of this? Like, like describe uh, what a woman might be doing wrong in yeah. this case. Maybe she goes, I love being a woman. I've got the floral dress. I've got the pretty hair. But I must be doing something wrong. So what's the thing that she is doing wrong? The thing that she's doing, and, and this is so true. I love how you said that in the high heel. You know, I dress like a really, she interrogates him, right? So she shows up and she's, she's sort of on him, like perform for me. She interrogates him. She does what we talked about earlier, which is like kind of show off with her busy life and with her career and her accomplishments. Mm -hmm. That's a dude. I mean, two dudes get together. That's what they do. Um, she actually doesn't, um, she doesn't relax. So if she's relaxed, that's a very feminine um, response to a man. When you could look him in the eye and you could smile and you could laugh a little bit and you can relax. But instead, she's, she's, you know, intense and she's expecting things from him. She's expecting him to perform. I, I hear this from women that I coach. In my private coaching, I hear this all the time, James. Like he didn't, you know, he didn't make me laugh. I mean, I'm not going to go out with him again. Well, geez, you know what? It's not his job to make you laugh. It's your job to be happy and to have fun and make the best out of the situation. And if you bring out the best in him, bingo. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, embrace your femininity. Can't tell you how important it is. Uh, and it's not enough just to dress feminine, which is great. We love when you dress feminine. We're all in. We love I that. But, I have a great exercise. I, I so interrupted you. I'm sorry. But I know you're, we have limited time. Damn it. That's the masculinity coming out of you, Bobby. That's you interrupted right. me. See, this is, don't do what Bobby just did. She's interrogating <laughs> me. She's going to show off about a great piece of information she has to share with you. Watch and already me. there's like, there's resentment brewing. I'm like, damn that Bobby Palmer. <laughs> damn it. I'm smarter than him. I'm going to show him. Yeah, so don't do that. Um, here's the thing. 
here's a great exercise for, for the women that are listening. If you want to get in touch with their femininity, close your eyes and imagine yourself in a situation with friends, with people that you feel really safe with and people that you feel happy with and just watch yourself. Just close your eyes and imagine how you are with them. What are you doing? How are you being? How's your body language? Are you touching? Are you talking? Are you laughing? Are you listening? What are you doing? And then think of yourself on a date with a man. And if you're not that woman on your dates, then that's what you need to be. You need to be the real you when you're on dates with men because I know that loving kindness and that fun and that openness comes through when you're with friends. We're talking to Bobby Palmer from datelikeagrownup.com. She is the dating and relationship coach for women over 40. Uh, if you want to check out more of her and you're inside the magnet system, make sure you just click the link below this interview and that can take you over to her site. You can learn more about Bobby. Uh, if you're listening somewhere else, then make sure you send a tweet out to Bobby at, at Bobby Powell, B-O-B-B-I-P-A-L, and put a send a tweet out to me as well, at James Swanick. Uh, so we've got two great points there. Let's do the third one. How do we attract a man, not a boy? What's the third step, Bobby? Uh, third one is you need to show interest. Grown-up men, unlike boys, are not chasers. The boys are led by their ego and their testosterone. As men get older and men mature and become comfortable in their skin, they are not interested in going after something they can't have. So it's really important that you don't play games and you don't expect them to be chasing you all over the place. Um, you have to do what I call show interest, but don't take the lead. Mm. That's so, so true. So a little bit of flirting, grown up flirting is complimenting men. The wonderful, like really grown up, like um, classy way to flirt with a man is to give him compliments. Mm -hmm. One way to show interest. At the end of a date, don't just say, oh, I had fun. Thank you, I had fun, because that's like a throwaway. Everybody says it. Say, thank you, I had fun. I'd love to do it again sometime. Just be open and be a grown up and say, it would be great to do it again. Don't ask him out, but let him know if he asks, you'll say yes. Those are the kind of things that men need. Um, boys like the chase, but by the time they're older and, and they've already gotten a lot of what they want in life, they're over that. What time, what age group does that tend to happen, Bobby? What you found? It varies, but you're looking at like, you know, when men get into their maybe late forties, you know, and remember I'm working mostly with, you know, women 40 to late sixties. Um, it's usually late forties, early fifties. It's what, um, Alison Armstrong refers to as Kings. Mm -hmm. you know, when a man becomes, um, accomplished and he could look back and he can see all these things that he's done in his life and now he's he's more ready to give back and he's more ready to be a teacher and he's more ready to be a leader for to help other people they change a lot and so this guy isn't going to keep chasing something he thinks he can't have it's not fun because he knows how to get what he wants and he's not going to waste his time well you know what i i i agree with you uh, what i would say bobby as women ask me all the time, you know, should I play hard to get? Should I not play hard to get? And what I say is in the courting process, you should play, you should be a little bit hard to get. Not a lot, but a little bit. That means if he calls you and you miss his call accidentally, don't phone him right back. Wait a couple hours, maybe even wait till the next morning and phone him back because you're a busy woman and you've got things going on and you want to portray that image. Mm -hmm. Likewise, if he texts, sends a text message, wait a little while before texting him back. Don't be so available. Also, if he asks you out and you literally hey, can't... Honey. Hey! I lost you for a minute. Oh, yeah. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Okay. So also, yes, I heard the beginning. So I was saying, don't... Uh, um, don't change your plans. If he asks you out and you've already got something planned, don't, don't change your plans in order to go out with him. Just say, I'm sorry, I'm unavailable that night, but uh, when else would you like to do it? But I might be, or I might be available on Thursday. That is playing a little bit hard to get because you're not, you're not just saying, oh, oh, I, I've got something on on Wednesday. Oh, but I can change the plan. Like right. don't, don't do that because that's too easy. That's just displaying that it's too easy. 
I, I would argue that it needs to be there needs to be a little bit of element of letting the guy chase, even if he is older and he's late forties, fifties, and sixties. Obviously, they're not going to chase as much as the guys in their teens, twenties, and thirties. Mm. But men are still hunters, and women are still prey in their mind, even at forty, fifty, or sixty. It's just give them a little bit, make it a little bit of a chase. Would you disagree with that, Bobby? I don't disagree, um, and I think certain circumstances you know vary mm -hmm. i don't disagree but i would really stress the little bit part and i would i would also say though that it you need to balance to do the balance so um i do agree don't break your plans to go out with the guy you know unless you're really like been seeing him for a while and mm -hmm. you've got a relationship but i would also say at the same time be really clear that you have plans right now but you'd very much like to see him and when can you make another date, mm -hmm. right? So just make sure that you let him, you're clear that you're interested, not that just that you're blowing him off. Yeah, okay. Does that make sense? So, yeah, absolutely. So in my millionaire magnet system and the VIP coaching, I talk about, um, you know, being a little bit hard to get. A little bit. I know, it's, I, heard, I listened to it. Yeah, a little bit. So don't go, don't go all the way. Don't, don't be like, I'm not going to go back for three days or I'm just going to act aloof. That's just not, it's not going to work. Yeah. But there's got to be some element of chase. You know, the guy wants the dopamine release. I mean, he just does. Obviously, as Bobby's saying, the younger guys are going to want it more, but just a little yeah. bit, a little bit. And you need to, you need to find that, that fine line, I guess. So that's great, Bobby. Let's just review these three points here. Now we're looking for a man, not a boy. Uh, that what's the definition of a boy? Well, it's the guy who's non-committed. He's self-centered. He's irresponsible. You can't really depend on him. The definition of a man is the guy that shows up, steps up, and is grown up. Okay. So how do we get this second guy? Number one, love and respect yourself and show it to him. Know how to express it. Show him what you love to do and set reasonable boundaries. Step number two is always, always, always embrace your femininity. You are a woman. Show your womanly features, not just physically. Not just your boobs. Don't just show your boobs and your <laughs> legs. I'm a big fan of boobs and legs, but yeah. don't just show those. Show your the feminine traits. Be caring. Be generous. Be open. Be open. Be curious. Receive. Receive. And then step three is you must show interest. You can't be like, the guys in their twenties and thirties where you're like, yeah, I'm just going to ignore this guy and watch him chase me. Ha 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 ha. No, you got to show him some interest. Grown up men are not, they don't want to chase as much as the younger men. So as men get older and mature and become comfortable, they're not interested in chasing so hard. So show some interest, but do not take the lead. That's so important. Always let him take the lead. He's a man. Let him be a man and flirt. Give compliments. Is that about it? Bobby? Uh, Fred, unless we have a few more hours, that is the highlight. Those are the highlights for sure. Well, Bobby, that's been great. Short and sweet. I love it. That's Thank you. Fun. Thank you so much. Like I said to the woman watching and listening right now, make sure you click on the link below this video so you can check out more about Bobby's uh, great work where she helps women uh, over 40. And make sure you send her a tweet at, at Bobby Pal, B O B B I P A L. And me, send me a tweet as well. Don't leave me out. Send me one at James no. Swanick, J A M E S S W A N W I C K. Bobby Palmer, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm so happy. Great time. And to the lovely lady watching and listening, I'll catch you on the next one.